I'm absolutely shocked and disappointed at the findings of the NCAA. I never, ever thought it would come to this. After nine years of working at the university and going through all of the challenges and the accomplishments that all of the people uh, took part in, um, I'm, I'm extremely disappointed that we have to deal with this right now. After going through the process um, from the depositions and the interviews over years and years, and also participating in the hearing uh, for the NCAA, I never thought there was any facts that supported the, these significant sanctions that have come forth. The primary issue throughout the process was did the university know? The university didn't know, we didn't know. We were not aware of any of these, these findings. I think it's important for you to know that through all aspects of the program we were vigilant in the way we approached every aspect. We always were out there to do things better than it's ever been done before. The agenda of the NCAA Infractions Committee uh, took them beyond the facts, and the facts don't match the sanctions. I absolutely uh, support the appeal by the university and will do everything I can to contribute uh, to their efforts. This is a clear-cut case of external elements outside of the university setting, setting uh, entering in and disrupting um, the process of, uh, of a young student athletes going to college uh, for their gain. It's time for the NCAA and the universities to come together uh, to elevate the awareness and the understanding uh, of uh, the vulnerability of college athletes and their families. We need to be proactive and work in every way to protect th this college experience for our kids. I feel terrible for the Trojan family that, that we have to go through this. But as always, we'll be strong and we'll keep our heads up and we'll keep fighting on. I'll continue to support and cooperate, uh, again, the, the appeal process and do everything I can to help.